Meanwhile, Kansas lawmakers delayed debate on a bill that some are saying would have even the playing field for small businesses and Internet stores. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Courtney Ryan has more. The debate on a bill to implement an Internet sales tax was supposed to take place here on the House floor this morning, but the bill was pulled from the agenda. Under the bill, online purchases would be taxed the same way sales are taxed in an actual store. According to a 1992 U.S. Supreme Court ruling, states can only tax online sales if the realtor has a brick and mortar store in the state. That decision is currently under a Supreme Court challenge. According to Kansas revenue estimates, if passed, the bill could bring in an additional $78 million a year in sales tax revenue. As we look at our Main Street businesses that will lose sales to the internet, sometimes due to the sales tax. So it's been a competitive advantage that firms that sell that way have had, and the desire is just to try and level the playing field. No reason was given for why the bill was pulled from the agenda. However, some lawmakers suggested it was because of a tax bill passed out of a Senate committee yesterday. Others said it could have been because of a number of amendments. There, this is clearly germane to a lot of amendments on food sales tax and other sales taxes. They weren't sure what that would do on a Friday afternoon. Lawmakers are expected to be on the floor in the beginning of next week debating bills. Some lawmakers say they're hoping this bill makes its way on the agenda. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Courtney Ryan.